we triggered some proximity alarm. And we've got the post apocalyptic equivalent of rednecks on us. I'm I'm not like being coy or facetious when I say he's he's a genius. Okay. Take a breather here. The goal is up in there. I am over here. Okie doke. I guess across this bridge is going to get us a little bit closer. Mm. Yeah. So far it's been working out pretty good. Just don't get it trapped in a bunch of PTs again. Yeah. Will your thingy shoot out of it? My bomb? No, your... Boop, 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 boop. The BT? No, I don't think so. The BB thing? I, I think if we encounter BT area, the, the move is to get out of the truck. I don't think it's going to be any level of wise. You need to gun it up the hill. It's not raining up here, really. Well, I'm also carrying an antimatter bomb that's sensitive to vibrations. Okay. So gunning it anywhere is not a great idea. With all these rocks? Yeah. You know, I've never seen so many rocks at the top of this game. It's like the apocalypse just brought all the rocks to the surface. I mean, that seems fairly realistic. Really? Well, if you think about it, like, what keeps the areas tidy? It's just people. Yeah, but we're not, like... Well, like, say a building collapsed and, like, years and years and years passed. Eventually it would be rubble. So you'd get a bunch of rocks everywhere. And eventually, you know, gave it enough time, it would just turn to dust. Plus, like, when you think about the concept of timefall and how it must horribly damage the soil and the grass, it kind of makes sense that rocks would stick out just a little bit more. Timefall is the most interesting thing that anyone's ever thought of. Yes, and I, and I can't even... I'm Say that, sorry. like, ever in my wildest dreams I've come up with anything <laughs> similar. This is really interesting. Kojima comes up with very fascinating things. It's like, so someone just really thought about what if we had rain? That ruined everything. That <laughs> just <laughs> sped up time. Yeah. And, you know, the interesting thing is, I don't think he's far off. In that, it's just like a really interesting way of thinking about it. Yeah. Because that's really what acidic rain is. Yeah. You're right. He might be a genius. He might be the Antichrist. Maybe it's him. <laughs> but like, he's the good one. The yeah. one we want. So, Christ. The Antichrist we've been praying for? Mm. Not the Antichrist we were warned about, but the one we need. The Christ. The Christ. He's the Jeebus. He's the Jeebus. Aww. There's some bold claims. I was hoping Teddy would be the Jeebus. He had, seems offended at that notion. I had big goals for him. <laughs> yeah. No, Mommy. Kojima made me beautiful. of the bomb being hit by some vibrations. It's like, dude, I can't help it. The world is rocks. Yeah, pretty much. It's kind of hard to find a smooth way to go. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I can just take the highway, because I have to build it. 
I want that. No one is ever expected to build a highway on their commute to work. Oh, tired. I'm going there. Yeah, I think that's the complaint that they're having. Oh. <laughs> Track is well, they've like dispatch trucks from inside. That's true. It's just weird to think. Okay. For sure. Don't throw it on the ground. Please. Mr. Touchdown. <laughs> God, that was still the funniest thing. God, I really want you to go back and just like. Uh oh, uh oh. Lit baby steps. Yeah, it's taking 18% damage. That makes sense. I'm surprised it's not more, honestly. I mean, yeah. Not that you were, like, being terribly reckless. There were just a lot of rocks. Yeah. Alright, y'all. Here's your bomb. There's gotta be, like, rules against this. Yeah. You're basically, like... Delivery complete. Yeah, bomber. Oh. Except I'm hand delivering shit. I feel like anytime someone <laughs> says that phrase, it's like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that was a very upsetting time in human history. I don't either. I'm just going off a of hearsay. I don't really. Re I don't know. Maybe this isn't the time to get into it. Fair enough. Not that I have any wild claims, it's just like, I don't remember it at all. Just people say that a lot, so I assume that it happened. <laughs> But I've never, like, looked it up, so I don't really even know what the Unabomber is. Um, apparently he was somebody who was, uh, subjected to, uh, experiments by the CIA. Uh. Whoa. Yeah, like, they were trying to figure was out- the acid stuff? Yeah, MKUltra. They were trying to figure out, um, my, if mind control could be achieved with, uh, psychedelic drug use. See, sometimes the government does stuff. And it's just like, really? Y'all thought I... that would work? <laughs> Y'all are, exactly. are stupid. Like, sometimes I hear about things that they've done. Like, did you ask anyone else? <laughs> did like, you ask an actual scientist? Yeah, like, did you ask anyone if that was remotely possible before you just, like, tested it on people? Yeah. But anyway, it really <laughs> fucked him up. So he's just like a, like a, like a drugged out guy? Uh, well, like, what it's happened? Not, I don't think it's that he was using drugs. It just, like, really fucked him up. Like, he had and so no he brains became, left? Like, uh, he became, like, very paranoid and stuff. Oh. Like, the, um... This is probably downgrading it a lot, but, you know, like, the people in Futurama that were the... Oh, uh, like the tinfoil hatters? Yeah. Yeah, sort of like that. We used to get those calls a lot at our jobs. Yeah, that's true. You people keep doing what you're doing, At our old job, there was a person who called me repeatedly to tell me that they were being injected at Walmart. So you speak for the city. That's right. I'm a judge. Yeah. The name's Lochner. Lochner. Hold up. Not that it was like. You're a technician, right? I think the weirdest part about it, or the saddest part about it, I guess, I don't know, because I don't know Walmart, but. It wasn't that they thought it was an employee with a grudge. It was like the company Walmart specifically wanted to inject them. Sorry, deal with that, People are too She's in their own heads, it. man. People, Imagine thinking no. anybody cares about you that much. It's not that. It's just people do a lot of drugs that they're not supposed to do. Yeah. And combinations of drugs they're not supposed to do. Probably... This also speaks so, to, like, our mental health crisis Sam, in the U.S. Lachna that we're just not, sister. like, Former Bridges one. treating Went these people. The group, yeah, that's true. Like, Mama. like personally, Mama's if I were a cop, name, of course. because That'd this be person told me that they called the cops a lot about it, but, you know, if someone Jesus. called me with that, like, Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. wouldn't you get them evaluated? But then that Lachna also speaks to, the like, Lachna, the software. They said they you know, the healthcare system. 
and how if you're like in poverty and not in your right mind you're just not going to get help yeah pretty much it's not a great system it's not even really an okay system it's like a horrible it's dystopian can I tell you something? I don't know what happened between them. One of my employees told me that they had an out of body religious experience. That sounds fake. With... You to stick your nose in their personal business. I'm s- so it did, I it might maybe it happened, I don't know, but like <laughs> with a, with the green god they told me. Ah. <laughs> the ganja goddess. <laughs> they they were specific enough to say it, I was not using marijuana. Huh. But they said the green god. And so, being a good manager, I go, who is the green god? And they told me, well, it's a combination of Pan and Bacchus. The greenest gods. Okay. I didn't really know what to say. Yeah, I don't either. Except I listened with the experience of someone who's used minor drugs before. And, like, maybe you did see all that. I don't know. But I don't think it was real. Man, you tell me some upsetting things sometimes. They claim that they use something similar to peyote. Mm. Which, coming from a member, well, a descendant of a member of a tribe that does use ritual peyote, is a little offensive to be told that from a small white person. That they use something similar to peyote. And then saw a green god that was somehow across a pan and Bacchus. <laughs> like, it's just, it's a lot of conflicting ideas. And yeah. I get that all ideas are fundamentally the same. I do, I understand that. <laughs> One only has to read a handful of books to realize that no one has original thoughts. <laughs> it's just, it feels a little weird, you know? Yeah. But then also to be told that this green god recognized that this person was not ready for full enlightenment and sent them back instead of killing them. <laughs> We're going to talk after this because I need to know which of your employees... I'm pretty sure Is having this know. breakdown. I'm I can take a guess. I'm pretty sure you know. Yeah. Yeah, that was told to me. I believe that, um, all I'm going to say about that is I believe that drugs do a lot of things to one's brain. Yeah, that's fair. I believe that none of those things should be recounted to your manager to your manager <laughs> oh, but the difficult part is I love this person <laughs> so I just kind of have to push it out of my head yeah <laughs> and remember that I too was once 18 I didn't do you know I didn't tell my manager about drug-induced trips, but, you know, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to talk. You bring me such regaling tales. You told me to save my stories for recordings. I appreciate it. Because honestly, like... Oh, there. Hmm. I may have to make a pit stop. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, truck's battery isn't going to get me all the way home. Oh, okay. Do you know where there's a generator nearby? 
I looked it up and there's there's one not really nearby, but it is the closest one. Which is It's what? It's the Up there. But I need to go like all the way up through here and all the way back. I think I gotta talk to Mama. Why don't you just try that way? Climb a fucking mountain? Just try it. You're in like a four wheeler. It's got four wheels. That is correct in Just terms of the amount it. of wheels. You can always like save here, try it, and if it doesn't work, then go like a day's journey away. I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember where Mama is. Oh well, that's a problem. And I think she. I think it's actually faster to just like. Where is Mama? <laughs> Mama. Mama. Mama, help. Mommy. Not a film director. That boy is cuddling his mama. God, it's all the way over here. Yeah, try just going over the mountain. Just go over the mountain first. You could avoid everything. Look at all that. Here's my actual thought process. I go here. I don't agree. I'm just saying, I just don't. No, well, okay, I'm not going to make it over the mountain pass. That's why the mountain pass is there. You don't it's know fundamental that. game design. No, I know how people work. That's but they're gonna not going to let me do that. <laughs> I'm but, just saying. No. Try it. I refuse. Oh my god. This is why you married me. You're no fun. Because I stick to my guns. What do you mean I'm no You're fun? You're already I tried to, in I the tried mountains. I tried to No, hold on. I tried to sled down a mountain and hop off of a giant that rock. Was so fun. And it went so poorly to in, to encourage your fun. But so I don't want to hear no, about how I'm not fun. This is why games are great. Because you can just tr try shit. Oh my god. And just restart it. And it well, doesn't... bad news. The game what is decided. What are you decided. doing? Tr I tried to turn around and the game was just like, no, gravity's a thing, you fucking moron. <laughs> but I'm not going to make it. Do you see that shit? And look at it. There's VTs all up on those mountains. I hate this. I hate this so much. I mean, fine, don't. I just, I think it could be you faster. Do, okay, you don't get to say fine, don't anymore, because you were kind of an asshole the first time. You are rude. I'm sorry. You should be. Next. Do you have things to prove now? Apparently. I just think if we could try it the faster way, why not? I don't think the faster way is going to be fast at all. Okay, well then go the other way. No, now I have to prove that you're an asshole. And a little bit of an idiot. This is the This is powered by spite. <laughs> this is the purpose of games, right? To try things that are not possible in reality. That are dumb and spiteful. Watch me get like 20 feet that way and... Uh, what's his name? Die Hard Man just buzz me in like... Uh, Sam. Where are you going? You know that's a fucking mountain, right? Watch you make it. You won't. But it would be funny. I know your battery's running out. Yeah, that's why I wanted to go to the battery charging station. <laughs> You're gonna be stuck in the wintry mountains with the no battery. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> It doesn't look that far. You know, this is what the, the men said in the, um, in the mountains. Oh, in the Andes book? Yeah. What's that flight number? Because I think people know it more by that. Oh, I have no idea, but Miracle in the Andes? This is exactly what they thought. They looked up at the mountains from, like, here, and they were like, that's not far at all. <laughs> they got up to right about that rock there, and then they were like, it goes on for miles. Just the sheer cliff. But you know what? He did it. Yeah. And it was quicker than going around the entire mountain. I mean, sure. For a man who's dying. Yeah. We could pull a miracle in the Andes right now. I'm not so sure about it, Doc. 